What is going on YouTube? Welcome to the Living Free channel. My name is Tyler Freed and in today's video I'm going down a long, long mountain grade here for the next seven miles as you can see on the sign and I figured it would be a good time to do a video uh, going down a mountain grade. The weather's not too bad but it is slick and this is absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous mountain grade to go down. I've never been this way before. Usually whenever I film steep mountain grade videos, I have done the grade before and I know what to expect. So on this one, I haven't done the grade. I have never done this one. I've never even been on I-5 before until this time I went out. And so uh, this is my first time ever running through Southwest Oregon and Northern California. And it's pretty interesting because my first snow experience of the year has been through this area and this is one of the most dangerous areas in the country as far as the uh, the winter time goes and you know just the terrain you're going through um, now this one's not too bad it, it's just like every other mountain grade you just take it slow and especially since it is slick i'm taking it extra slow and i'm hauling a load of paper really tall paper rolls and so i'm very top heavy i want to be very careful going down and around these curves and uh, sorry I'm having to clean my windshield off so that you can see and so that I can see but that's the main thing is just going down and around these curves very slow and what I'm doing is I have my hazards on so you know people know that I'm going so slow and to pass me and as you can see the speed limit is 55 but uh, when you're going down mountains and you're in a truck and you're really loaded heavy, I mean, my load is like 43,000 pounds, and I've hauled heavier loads than this, but the thing is, is when you have these paper rolls, and for those of you that are truck drivers, you know exactly what I'm talking about, the really tall paper rolls that uh, go up to the ceiling of your trailer, I mean, that to me is the scariest thing to haul, honestly. I mean, you, you got to take that very serious. That and beer are the two my opinion most dangerous things to haul but I, I would say paper rolls are even worse than beer to be honest with you because like man I don't know <laughs> there's just something about them that makes them uh, kind of scary but I figured I would do a a video of me going down the mountain and finally the weather is kind of cleared up to where you can at least see some of the terrain I wanted to do more videos out here out west but unfortunately you know the weather has been very bad to where you can't see much and also I've been doing a lot of nighttime driving as I stated in the last video but I've been wanting to get some of this gorgeous scenery uh, and on a video I mean out west I'm not going to really talk much about in this video about how to go down a mountain safely all you do is put it in low gear and then toggle back and forth between settings on your engine brake it's very simple just go slow if the speed limit's 55, do about 10 under that, especially with a load like this, and you'll be good. If you hit a curve, do about 5 to 10 miles an hour under when you hit that curve, and you'll be just fine. It's that simple. So, but I do want to talk about just out west and how, how amazing it is out here. I mean, I have not been everywhere out west. Now, I mean, I've been to more and more of it now that I've been to Creek, but the first three and a half years of my trucking career, I never went past I-25. I mean, I went to Denver with Millis, uh, and for those of you that don't know, I worked for Millis Transfer prior to coming to Crete. Um, I did go to Denver, but I never went past Denver with Millis, and never got to experience some of the beauty that is out west. And honestly, man, I mean, when you talk about, like, California, and, and for those of you that are gonna say, oh, well, the politics are bad, I'm not talking about the politics. When I say California is one of the most beautiful states in the country, it is absolutely gorgeous in California. I'm talking about the terrain, the scenery. I know that the politics are really screwed up and everything, but as a truck driver getting to experience seeing some of the terrain, it's amazing. Um, Arizona, I love Arizona. I've talked highly about that um, for a long time. New Mexico, there's beautiful areas. Colorado, I've made some videos being in Colorado. You know, Utah, Nevada even has some really cool areas. Um, Idaho, Montana, I've done a video in Montana. Uh, Washington State, just all of the West, there's so much out here to see. And 
honestly, as an over-the-road truck driver, and for somebody who's very into nature, that's what I am, is very into nature, and I just love it. It makes my job very enjoyable. It makes time go by fast for me because I enjoy what I'm doing. Now, there's a lot of beauty out east, and I got to experience all that with the first company I ran for, but I honestly did miss out on a whole lot. As you can see, I mean, look at how gorgeous this is. And I'm going into California now, I'm two miles from the border of Northern California, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm currently right now trying to dodge a, um, a snowstorm. I'm trying to dodge a snowstorm. I'm trying to beat it so that I don't have to chain up. Because I believe, personally, that if you have to chain up because the snow and ice is so bad, you might as well just get off the road and wait for the storm to pass and for the uh, snow clouds to clear up the roads. But uh, anyway, uh, that's why I haven't really filmed a lot of what I've been seeing out here. And also the other day, too, I ran into some very high winds out in Bend, Oregon, and that was scary. Some 50 mile an hour wind gusts uh, just <laughs> some dangerous stuff on this this route. I got a load out of Stockton, California. Ooh, look at this guy. I got a load out of Stockton, California, and went up to Hermiston, Oregon, and then I picked up south of Portland, and now I'm headed back down to Stockton. And I'm kind of hoping to head back east, just so I don't really have to worry about the northwest weather, because the weather's not going to be too good here over the next few days up here, and I really would not. I would really like to avoid having to run up here and deal with that. Uh, so that I can keep moving and make my miles. But it's been a joy to see different areas. This entire time I've been out, I've ran different lanes that I've never ran on. And like I said, on I-5, I've never been to this area before, or through this area. And this is the first time I've ever gotten to see this terrain. Uh, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love my country. I think it's the most beautiful country in the world. And uh, especially uh, when it comes to scenery. So anyway, that was it for this downgrade. That was it for this downgrade. It was kind of a, uh, a, a tutorial or a uh, me explaining how to go down a mountain and also an update video. I do a lot of these update videos and I love to do them because I like to update my subscribers on how things are going, what I've been doing, what's been going on, and also show you guys some of the most beautiful areas in the country and you're getting to see some of that in this video. So anyway, if you're new to the channel though, please like the video, sub to the channel, uh, check out more of my other videos that will be popping up at the end of this one. God bless you uh, and thank you for watching. Peace out.